I'm Kelly Larden and today we're going to be making a decorative framed icon for the Feast of the Dormition. This is a simple craft that you can do with children of all ages, so let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you will need two pieces of blue craft foam, five and a half by eight and a half inches. You also need a piece of craft foam in your choice of colors. You will need four to six pieces of blue tissue paper cut into four and a half by two inch strips. One twist tie cut in half. Scissors, a paper cutter, or an X-Acto knife. As well as glue and embellishments. You will also need a paper, piece of paper of your choice for printing a template and an icon print of the Dormition. The first step is to trace your icon, the edges of your icon, onto the blue craft foam. This will be used as a guide to cut out a hole for your picture to show through. You will use your guidelines as a base for cutting. Poke a hole into your foam with your scissors and then begin cutting slightly inside of the line so that the frame will overlap part of your picture. And this side of your foam will be the back side um, or the inside rather of your frame so that the line you've drawn will be hidden. Once your front frame is cut out you'll put glue on three edges. Put this on the side that you wrote on so it will be hidden and also be sure to leave a little space around the center edges so that your picture will be able to slide into the frame. Once your glue is on, press your frame to the back piece of foam and then slide your picture in on the unglued edge. When your picture is in the frame, add glue to the final side and press down to seal. If your child is old enough, she can cut out a crown for her frame on her own. If she feels uncomfortable cutting out the crown, then do that ahead of time. And the next step will be to decorate the crown with your glitter glue or gemstones or whatever other embellishments you've chosen. When the crown is decorated, add glue to your frame where you want it to be placed and then gently press it on being sure to avoid touching any undried glitter glue if you've used that. The next step is to make a tissue paper flower. So stack your papers as neatly as you can, but they do not need to be perfect, and then fold them accordion style or fan style back and forth, and use your table or work surface to press down the edges as you fold. Right 
Once it's folded, twist a twisty tie in the center. Once the twist tie is tied, spread the, the flower into a circle. And then you will lift one sheet at a time And as you lift each sheet, you'll start to see the formation of your flower. And lift them as much to the center as you can. Once you've made your flower then, you can glue it to your frame. Put the glue on your frame where you'd like the flower to go. And then press it in at the middle. And if you need to readjust your petals, you can pull the paper up more as um, after it's dried. Next we're going to make a title for our icon. So from the template you've printed out the title Dormition of the Theotokos. Now we'll need to cut it out. Cut it to a size small enough to fit at either the top or the bottom of your frame. Once you've cut it out, put glue on the back and then press it onto your frame. As a final step, you can add any other embellishments your child may want to add around the edge of the frame, be it glitter glue or gemstones or sequins or whatever else you have. Your final project may look something like this. You can add a magnet to the back and hang it on a refrigerator or poke holes and add string to hang it on a wall.